Hi guys, welcome to another section of learning with Preplus. I am Usman Nuruddin, a Preplus tutor. And today I will be solving questions 36 to 40 of Hugo Sugo Mathematics Past Question. We are going to be looking into paper A test 2 questions. I hope you've been following us and you've seen how we solved previous questions. Kindly check through our channel to see how these questions were solved. So guys, let's learn more and build a strong mathematical skill. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so as to get notified whenever we put up a video on our channel. Also remember to share this video with your friends. So let's start today's learning by solving questions 36 to 40. Question 36. At what speed does a man walk if he cover 12 kilometers in 3 hours? A. 36 km per hour. B. 15 km per hour. C. 9 km per hour. D. 4 km per hour. E. 3 km per hour. So we need to solve for speed given the distance and the time. Speed is unknown, that's what we have to find. So we have the distance, which is 12 kilometers, 12 kilometers, time, 3 hours. So we have 3 hours there. So you are going to use the formula, speed equals distance over time. Now we have the distance to be 12 kilometers, and we have the time to be 3 hours. Now we can divide, right? Yes. So we have 3 here is 1, and 3 in 12 is 4. So now we have 4 kilometers per hour. To be the speed of the man who walked 12 kilometers in 3 hours. Which of the options is the right option? Option D is the correct answer. D, 4 kilometers per hour. So you can see how easy it is for us to solve that particular question. With the use of the formula, speed equals distance over time. We are able to get the speed given the distance and the time. So we we'll move to the next question. Question 37. In a school of 105 pupils, the girls are 25 more than the boys. How many boys are there in the school? A. 40 B. 45 C. 50 D. 55 E. 80 Now we have to find the number of boys in the school. But we are given that the number of girls is 25 more than that of the boys. So we can say let the number of boys be x since that's what we are looking for. So this means that the number of girls equals x plus 25. That is when we add 25 to the number of boys, we are going to get the number of girls because we have the girls are 25 more. So it means whatever the number of boys is, we are going to add 25 to get the number of girls. Now the total pupils in the school is 105. Now we need to find the number of boys in the school. So this means that if we add the number of boys and the number of girls, we are going to get the total number of students in the school. So this means we have x plus x plus 25 equals 105. Now we add x and x, which is giving us 2x plus 25 equals 105. At this point, when we have an equation of this form, you collect like terms. So it means 2x will stay on one side of the equation, 25 and 105 will be on the other side of the equation. So we have 2x equals 105. 25 is positive on the left hand side. Now it is coming to the right hand side and it is changing to minus. So we have 105 minus 25. Now we have 2x equals 105 minus 25 is going to give us 80. So the next thing to do here is to divide both sides by 2, that is the coefficient of x. So when we divide by 2, we have 2x over 2 equals 80 divided by 2. 2 in 2 is 1, 2 in 80 is 40. 2 can cancel out 2 here and we have x to be equal to 40. So this means that the number of boys in the school is 40 and the correct option is option A. Question 38. I bought eggs at 8 cobalt a dozen and sold them at 9 cobalt each. 
What is my profit percent? A. 14O number 2 over 7 percent. B. 28O number 4 over 7 percent. C. 42O number 6 over 7 percent. D. 55 percent. E. 90O number 10 over 21 percent. We have to find the percentage profit. Given that I bought X at 84 cover per dozen and sold them at 9 cover each. So we have the dozen price, which is the cost price, is 84 cobo. That is the amount I spent in buying a dozen of egg is 84 cobo. So the selling price is 9 cobo per egg. That is, I sold the egg at 9 cobo each. So 9 cobo per egg. So this means that the number of eggs per dozen is 12. But the number of eggs per dozen, that is in the dozen, we are going to have 12 eggs. So total selling price is going to be 9 cobo multiplied by 12. That is by sell 1 egg at 9 cobo. It means 12 eggs will be sold for 9 cobo times 12, which is 108 cobo. Now, before we can find the profit percent, we need to find profit itself. So we have profit equals selling price minus cost price. Our selling price is 108 cobo minus the cost price 84 cobo. So we have 108 cobo minus 84 cobo to give us 24 cobo, which is the profit. So now we need to find percentage profit. We have the percentage profit equals profit over cost price multiplied by 100%. Now from here we put the values for profit and put the value for cost price so that we can get our percentage profit. Now the profit is 24 cobo divided by the cost price is 84 cobo multiplied by 100%. Now cobo cancels out. 12 here is 2. 12 in 84 is 7. So we have 2 times 100 which is 200 divided by 7. Then we have percentage. So now what is 200 divided by 7? When we divide 200 by 7 we are going to get 28 O number 4 over 7. So we have our answer percentage profit to be equal to 28 O number 4 over 7 percent. And the correct option is option B. I hope you're following and you understand how I'm able to solve these questions. If you have any question, don't forget to put it down in the comment section. Question 39. Irene, Grace, and Patience received 396 Naira to share in the ratio 5, 4, and 3, respectively. How much did Irene receive? A. 33 Naira B. 99 Naira C. 132 Naira D. 165 Naira E. 198 Naira Now, from the question, Irene's ratio, we have 5 because Irene, Grace, and Patience 396 naira to share in the ratio 5, 4, and 3 respectively. So this means 5 is for Irene, 4 is for Grace, and 3 is for Patience. So Irene's ratio equals 5, Grace's ratio equals 4, Patience ratio equals 3. Now the total ratio is 5 plus 4 plus 3, and that is giving us 12. Now the amount shared from the question is 396 naira. So the amount shared equals 396 naira. Now we need to find how much did Irene receive. So Irene's share is going to be Irene's ratio over total ratio multiplied by the total amount shared. So that means we have 5 over 12 multiplied by 396. 12 here is 1. 12 in 396 is 33. That will start by saying 12 in 39. That is 3. Remainder 3. 12 in 36. That is 3. So now what do we do next? We have Irene's share equals 5 multiplied by 33, and that is giving us 165. So the correct option is option D, 165. So it means when they share the money, Irene will receive 165 Naira out of 396 Naira. Very easy, right? Let's move to the next question, which is going to be the last question in this video. Question number 40. A man loses 20% by selling an article for 11 Naira. What was the cost price of the article? A. 10 Naira 50 Kobo B. 13 Naira 20 Kobo C. 13 Naira 75 Kobo D. 24 Naira E. 33 Naira 
Now, from the question, we are given the percentage loss and the selling price. We need to find the cost price. Now, the percentage loss is 20%. The selling price is 11 Naira. The cost price, which is what we are looking for, we don't know. So, it means we have to represent it with an alphabet, let's say X. Now, percentage loss equals loss over cost price multiplied by 100%. But loss equals cost price minus selling price. So, therefore, we have percentage loss equals cost price minus selling price. So, we have to put all our information into this equation so we can solve and get our answer. What is percentage loss? 20%. Cost price, X. Selling price, 11. Cost price, X. So, we have 20 equals X minus 11 error over X multiplied by 100. 20 equals... When we multiply 100 by x minus 11 error, we are going to get 100 into bracket x minus 11 error, close bracket. Now, at this point, we cross multiply. 20 will multiply x to give us 20x equals 100, open bracket, x minus 11 error, close bracket. So, we have 20x equals 100 times x is 100x minus 100 times 11 error is 1100 error. So now the next thing here is to collect like terms. When we collect like terms, we are going to have 20x plus 100x to move to the left hand side and change to minus 100x equals minus 1100 naira. So what is 20x minus 100x? What do we get? We are going to get minus 80x equals minus 1100 naira. The next thing is to divide both sides by minus 80. And when we divide by minus 80, we are going to have minus 80x divided by minus 80 equals minus 1,100 divided by minus 80. At this point, minus cancels minus. 80 cancels 80. x equals 0 here. 0 cancels 0. So we have 110 over 8. And we divide 110 by 8, we are going to get x to be equal to 1375 cobalt. So this means the cost price is 13 Naira 75 Kobo. That implies that the man bought the article for 13 Naira 75 Kobo and end up selling it for 11 Naira. So obviously he's going to make a loss. So the correct option is option C, 13 Naira 75 Kobo. So guys, we have come to the end of today's section. I hope learning with us has been very easy for you. Remember to always put down your question in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like this video and tell us how you feel by putting your comment down in the comments section. It has been a wonderful moment learning with you. So guys, we are going to see you again in the next video. Bye for now.